I am CS Murthy, Director Mahanlanobis National Crop Forecast Center, MNCFC. MNCFC is an attached office of Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of India. MNCFC is located in Posa Campus, New Delhi. Due to climate change, Agriculture in India is exposed to various kinds of weather extremes, weather aberrations, natural calamities causing low and uncertain crop yields. Therefore, climate change poses new challenges for income security and food security in the country. Agriculture value chain needs new data sets, information, tools and knowledge for informed decision making by various stakeholders. Richly available satellite data sets, weather data sets and smartphone based field data sets offer numerous opportunities to provide data in various forms permitting very close monitoring of crops from beginning to end of the season. Thus, there is a lot of scope to develop geospatial solutions that are required for assessing the crop risk for crop surveillance systems, crop yield estimation and market related information products and so on. In the country today what we require is that the data that is available at different places we need to bring this data to one platform, one digital platform. Similarly the expertise and algorithms in agriculture solution development, they are located in different places. So these isolated data and expertise and tools we need to bring to a centralized geospatial platform so that all these data sets are more effectively utilized. So there is a need to have a close connect with the agri-tech industries and startup enterprises to meet the increasing demand for new information products in agriculture sector. In the current system of agriculture production risk management, the, there are two modes of operations. One is the disaster relief system using state disaster relief funds or national disaster relief funds, SDRF and NDRF. And the second approach is financial risk transfer mechanism to, uh, to minimize the losses caused by various kinds of crop risks. A robust risk transfer mechanism in the form of crop insurance products is a preferred choice because such a system will reduce the load on relief centric uh, uh, disaster management practices. So therefore, the innovations and investments in agriculture se sector should be strongly backed by a strong system of insurance in the country. That thus, the crop insurance is an integral part of agriculture in India. Similar to other inputs in agriculture, the access to crop insurance should also be as easy as that of other inputs in the production system. Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana PMABY was introduced in the country in the year 2016. The scheme has many positive features such as catering to or compensating for various kinds of crop risks from beginning to the end of the season. Even post harvest risks are also covered under PMABY. Ever since the introduction of PMABY, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has been promoting large scale adoption of digital technologies to improve the performance of the scheme. All the states and insurance companies are being sensitized and their capacities are being built by the agriculture ministry for 
easy adoption of technologies. As a result of these concerted efforts from 2016, the acceptance to technology solutions by the states is fast increasing and the technology adoption is also increasing quickly from year on year. All the stakeholders are on the same pace uh, on, on the use of technologies, they are fully convinced that the technology adoption will, would greatly improve the performance of PMAPY. Use of CCE Agri app for recording crop cutting experiments is a major technology intervention that has improved the transparency in the system of crop cutting experiments and crop yield estimation under PMAPY. Smart sampling for selecting crop fields for conducting crop cutting experiments using satellite data is a major technology intervention to improve the system of CCE under PMAPY. Besides these interventions, satellite data is also being increasingly used to check the area discrepancy related issues that means what is the insured area and what is the actual crop area on the field. So these kind of discrepancies are now under check because of the utilization of remote sensing data. Similarly yield disputes resolution is one of the important intervention where the remote sensing data and weather data are being used to resolve the disputes arising out of the yields. So on many occasions the yields reported under CCE are disputed, they, are to, they were claimed to be biased yields. So using the data these kinds of disputes are being resolved leading to timely settlements of uh, insurance claims and benefiting farmers. Similarly, weather uh, based risks, uh, for example, the drought uh, affected area, flood affected area, or the crop areas affected by unseasonal rains just before harvest, and uh, all these kinds of uh, uh, affected area maps are being generated using the remote sensing data, and uh, that is being integrated with the uh, crop loss assessment system and thus improving the kind of um, risk assessment uh, system under crop insurance. Use of technology for crop loss assessment. It directly benefits the system because the losses assessed and the actual losses they are in uh, close agreement. So the technology adoption improves the transparency in the loss assessment system. That is the direct benefit that comes out of uh, using the technologies. For example, the smartphone based CCE monitoring. So that has improved the transparency in the entire system of manual crop yield estimation by taking the measurements at uh, selected field uh, plots. The smart sampling is the one where the fields are selected on the basis of yield proxies using the satellite based crop health indicators and selecting the fields just before the harvest season and it has minimized a number of moral hazard issues in the crop yield estimation process. So the use of uh, remote sensing indices at a, at a final granularity that are today available in public domain. It has provided an opportunity to moderate the, the yield data that is the bias yield data measurements using the existing system on the basis of uh, yield proxy uh, kind of indicators. So this has been a, a proven uh, uh, technology application and it is being adopted now in various uh, states. So all these interventions they, they lead to more realistic assessment of crop losses. Therefore, the farmers who have really incurred, who have really faced the crop risk, they get uh, adequate compensation under which is time, which is also timely in nature.
modern remote sensing is uh, characterized by uh, by public domain availability of large number of data sets of moderate resolutions 10 to 20 meters most of the data is available in public domain and a lot of biophysical products information is also being generated using the satellite data and this data is also being made available in the open access mode similarly the, the weather station network is fast increasing in the country so therefore in the years to come the density of weather observations is also going to uh, increase tremendously followed by the smartphones which are being uh, used to uh, uh, record the crop data or field data and report the crop risks in almost near real time so huge repository of field data sets weather data sets and satellite based indices they provide numerous opportunities in the years to come to develop innovative crop insurance products the smartphone based pictorial data will also be very very useful to develop some kind of unique information products such as uh, picture based insurance system in the country so the scope also exists to to develop new information new insurance products at local scales for example right now insurance unit is gram panchayat there is scope in the years to come to develop these products at village level village as a insurance units in the same way the term sheets for weather based insurance schemes there is a lot of scope to improve these term, sheet, term sheets and, and, and thus to enhance the uh, risk uh, assessment or reduce the basis risk in the uh, weather based insurance schemes so with the uh, huge repository of these data sets in the years to come I think uh, there is a lot of scope to develop transformative insurance schemes and the new business models of insurance benefiting farmers in a larger perspective and uh, thus there is a scope to, to, to develop a very stable and uh, robust insurance mechanism and different uh, variant products of crop insurance uh, in the country to suit the requirements of different sets of farmers or different agroclimatic regions or agro, agro ecological regions or different crops so there is a thus there is a lot of scope for horizontal and vertical expansion of crop insurance and its penetration and there is a possibility for the universal coverage of these insurance the moment we use the technologies the premium rates are moderated once the premium rates are moderated there is a lot of scope for more and more enrollments and more uh, penetration so these uh, digital technologies are going to make a big headway in the years to come for, uh, in india to evolve a kind of a robust system of uh, risk transfer mechanism